that game seemed like it had a lot of pace to it, a lot of hunger. Was that how it felt playing? Yeah, I did. Uh, you know, we had a little meeting about our defensive habits, and I think we've we're getting wins, but there's some defensive things we, we have to be better at, especially going into the second half of the year and closing into the playoffs. So, so today was a step in the right direction and, and overall a good game. You weren't real good from 23 straight. What's that feel like to have a shot up and not be good? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the way the way the, the game developed was uh, I could see a big difference when we scored that one goal and we kind of shut them down since that. So I think I, it was it was huge. We controlled the whole third period. We were patient. We were we just did what we needed, and it was it was a big message for for everyone that uh, these are the habits Miko talked about uh, getting closer to the playoffs. So it was a huge test for us, and we we passed. Miko, what uh, shift did you feel from the, the, the first period? There were still some defense breakdowns. I mean, like Manny Ray cut down the pass in the third. What kind of changed for you guys? Yeah, I just uh, it was a little bit sloppy in the in the first. Like you said, you know, we gave up, gave up two on ones and stuff like that. So, so, uh, but then we had a little chat between the players in the first intermission, and and uh, after that, it was it was uh, pretty good. What did you see on the on your goal, and how did you know exactly how to do it? Yeah, Landy made a good pass, and I just all alone and tried to like. I guess it's tough for the goalie, you know, and it comes out of nowhere, you know, it's quick, and and uh, so I just tried to like wait him out and. This time it worked. What was that chat between the players who read it? What was said? Well, I think obviously leaders of the team usually lead the conversation and guys jump in there. So that's pretty, every team is like that, I think. Uh, well, you guys have had a very uh, compact schedule here, including Garcia and Van Eken, almost playing every other game. How comfortable are you in, in that kind of role, taking over the game when you're not over there enough? Yeah, I mean, the schedule is really tight right now, so I think it helps when we can alternate the games and uh, not get uh, too tired. So I think it works pretty well for the team, and uh, I hope we'll keep rolling. And I guess for you, Miko, just how important has bullpen you been with this team in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, it's been great. You know, it's uh, both guys are playing on real, and, and like you said, we can put either one at the net, and we know we have a chance to win. So so uh, that's what you that's what you want when you, when you go um, – Closer to playoffs and uh, second half of the year, it's gonna be big, big games coming up. So, so it's it's uh, it's fun fun to watch those guys play. Pavel, do you talk much to Darcy throughout the game, or as you were playing, he goes in and does some stuff? What, what are those conversations like you guys have? I mean, uh, I'm not going to the bench on a on a break, so we don't really have any conversation during you know the play. But uh, we sit next to each other in the locker room, so every time. Uh, there's a you know intermission we we ch we'll chat but uh, it's not like any deep deep conversation usually. Okay, all good. Nico, were you impressed by the, the goal setting on your on your next shot? Yeah, <laughs> I should have taken a slap shot. You know, maybe he would have got a, out of the way, but I threw a muffin, so that was my bad. <laughs>